How's it going? Charles Bowenston. I haven't made a video in a while. Today's topic is a little bit different and it's actually really important. So I'm gonna be putting out a lot more relationship style videos because I've been a single guy for quite some time. I've refined, if you wanna say, what you should be looking for, how to find out what you're looking for, how to screen for what you're looking for, how to qualify, blah, 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 things like that. So I've tried online dating. And the reason I'm actually bringing this up is because I've heard from so many girls that, or so many women, I should say, not girls, but women, they're like, why don't they just come over and talk to me? Like, why don't they just, they see me at a bar, or they see me at a party, or they see me at Starbucks consistently on the same day, and we make eye contact, and you all have headphones in, but nobody goes over and says something. Nobody, like, initiates the contact. So that's what this video is about. And especially now is, you know, I'm 30 years old. When I first started dating, which is obviously like a while ago, but it was really about looks. It was like, oh, she's cute. Like I wasn't looking at like, oh, what's her job like? When I'm 21 or 22, I'm not, I'm not, I didn't really care like, oh, she went to the gym twice today or she's eating really well. Because when you're 21, 22, pretty much everyone is thin. Everyone's around the same income level. Everyone's pretty much around this block of people. And then as you age, some people just fall off and some people rise to the top. It's like anything else in life. <laughs> so at 30, I'm looking for a lot of different things. You know, what is she doing for her work? Does she like her work? Is she positive? Is she outgoing? Does she have a good social circle, which is really important to me? Is her health and vitality just on point? That's also really important because in New York City where I live, it's like there's a lot of good looking girls. Like they're everywhere. But it's like that's online dating. So I did match about two years ago and to great success. And by success, I mean I met women, quality women. And I feel that there's quality women on match because you have to pay for it. It's not free or at least to message. You know, I'm not going to go in there and not message. And then I just joined Tinder. Uh, totally different. I, I joined about a week ago and it's not for me. I like to feel the energy. I like to see how it is, the chemistry in person. I like to meet people in person instead of just see five photos and make a decision to, you know, schedule you into my Tuesday night. You know, not so, like I value my time, you know, and it's like if I just continuously just say yes, 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 yes. It's like, whatever. So I'm making this video because so many women, as I mentioned before, are saying, why don't they just approach me? Why don't they just talk to me? Why don't they just initiate? We, we take the same cycling class every single Monday or every single Monday and Wednesday and they don't come over and say something. So this video is to help you guys out, men. And for girls, for ladies, I'll make another video. Is it appropriate? How do we, you know, feel about you approaching us, blah, 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 but this is about men. So there's three types of approaching. And I'm gonna go in order of the least bold, least courageous to the most bold. So the first one is pretty much just an indirect, these are, th this is for guys that just came out of a relationship or are really shy or they have worked at their job and they don't, they haven't gone out for a while or whatever, whatever the reason is, I don't really care, you know, or they just, they're just shy guys. So the first one is an indirect. It's something about directions. Like in New York City, does this train go uptown? You're kind of just getting the improv skills of just talking with a woman. <laughs> That's really what it is. Or uh, what time is it? Or... I don't know, something really just minute that has nothing to do with, I think you're attractive, that's the only reason I'm coming over to talk to you. The problem with this approach is that it's so innocent that if you try and transition to, hey, can I get your number, let's go out one time, or let's go out this week, uh, it's going to be challenging because you, you came off so indirectly, so just kind of like a curveball, you're kind of like baiting and switching. And plus, it's just not like a, it's just not a masculine approach. That's just what it really comes down to. It's like, oh, this train goes uptown, blah, blah, blah. You know, I sometimes do that if I'm not in a talkative mood or I've been like cooped up and I just need to just 
you know, and I'm going to a networking event or I'm going out to a client meeting and I need to just, you know, like get that socialization in, kind of like feeling the fear and doing it anyway, but I don't recommend it. But it's great if you're just starting out. Number two is situational or environmental kind of approach. In other words, you're out at a bar, you're out at a club, you're at Starbucks, you're at a ball game, you're at a house party, you're at a barbecue, whatever. Wherever you are, you bring up the situation or the environment you're in. So say you're at Starbucks, you say, oh my, I'm like, oh, that looks great. I just got a nice latte, what'd you go with? So that's a little bit, that's more in you know the environment you're in. And obviously if you're going up and you're talking and you're not actually supposed to be talking, in other words, there's no like initiation, she obviously knows the reason you came up and started talking to her is because you're probably attracted to her or you wanted to initiate a conversation with her. You know, it's, women are very intelligent. They're way more intuitive socially than men. They know why you came over and why you started talking, but who cares? That's the start of a relationship. That's the start of anything. So I'll talk about approaching afterwards, but number two, with the situation and environmental kind of environmental, I mean, you're at a ball game or you're at a wedding or something like that. You bring it up. It's non-threatening. It's an easy conversation. It's an easy transition. And you can easily go from there. Like, oh, you know, it was a great conversation. Let's continue this over coffee, which I don't actually recommend. Let's continue this over a drink on Tuesday. Are you free? Yes. Perfect. Let's exchange the numbers, blah, blah. So the reason that it's easier than the indirect because the indirect is just the most innocent way to approach someone at any time. Number two is you're kind of showing a little bit of interest, but not really. And then that comes to number three, which is direct. And that's kind of where I'm at right now. And that's the only way I would rather just in the first 10 seconds say I'm interested or I'm not interested and, and really just throw it out there because I'm not going to sit there and talk to you for 45 minutes at a bar if your boyfriend is somewhere there or you have a boyfriend or you're married or you're engaged or whatever. Like, obviously, I'm going to see the ring. However, when you go direct, a lot of things happen. Number one is the woman appreciates it. So the reason that she appreciates it because a lot of men don't approach her that kind of way. They say, hey, how's it going? Or environmental, like I was just saying, like, oh, it's a really loud club, or have you been here before? Or, what a great cycling class, or whatever. Direct is, hey, how's it going? I saw you, you look great, or uh, I thought you were cute, I wanted to come over and just say hi. Whatever the, whatever the case is, you're showing your attention up front, and it's direct, and it's, you know, or you walk up and be like, you look great, you know, holy cow, like, that's what I usually say, like, they're vibrant or they're glowing or they're just confident or they just have this aura around them. I'm not going to approach someone that's just like sitting there like this. But if someone has a great vibe, perfect example today, I was getting coffee and iced coffee at lunch and there is someone at the cash register next to me and I go, wow, I'm like, you look fantastic. She's like, oh my God, thank you. She's like, I have a job interview. I'm like, what? I'm like, you've got it already. You already blah, blah, blah. We went back and forth. She went for a coffee. I saw there was a wedding ring. I'm like, good luck. I hope it works out, blah, blah, blah. And that's really where you're coming from is that whether she's, she's into it or not, it's like you're, you're throwing at an invitation. <clears throat> you're just saying, I'm vulnerable, I'm bold, I'm create, I'm courageous, and accept it or not. That's really where it's coming from. You're not coming from a needy place. You're not coming from she's obligated to talk to you because she's not. And by the way, if she says no, screw off, perfect, great, I'm glad. But the number one thing on all three of these is that not many men actually go up and initiate contact. So anytime I do it, uh, there was another one. I was, uh, and I do this a lot. I do this pretty much every day, just because I would rather meet women that that way than online, because I know if I have a connection or not. If I'm talking to her and say that woman to my left was not married, but there was no chemistry or there wasn't really that vibe going, then I'd be like, awesome, good luck on your interview. I hope it works out, and then just leave it at that. Like you don't have to 
go for the contact information, but I'm very, very direct now. I literally go in and I just say, or go up to her and I'm like, you're glowing or you look fantastic or you, you really put yourself together today or that dress is great or whatever. Some compliment, a genuine compliment. I'm not gonna go up and say something that's something I don't think that she deserves. Like, I, if I don't like the dress, I'm not gonna go up and be like, oh, you, your dress is great or, you know, whatever. Two weeks ago, someone was walking down the street, she was with her friend, I'm like, listen, sorry to interrupt, but she's, her hair was just like, just like long and really nice and, it, and her, you know, she just was a beautiful girl. And that's all I was saying. I was like, you look fantastic. You are just shutting down the street. She laughed. She was with her friend, she had a great time. To be honest, I actually should have continued it, but it looked like they're in a conversation. She said, Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. Awesome, have a great day. And that was it, that was it. So that's a direct. Then you have the indirect, which is number, like the easiest way to just talk. <laughs> and then number two, and the reason I'm saying this is that if you're sick and tired of dating online, like I just don't want to go online and you know, search and then message and then me and then play the game. And then a couple of days later, can you do this? No, you can. What's your phone number? Blah, blah, blah. With meeting them in person, if you're in a metropolitan area, it's very easy. You commute on a train or you work with people that could potentially introduce you to people or, or happy hour or whatever you do, there's always an opportunity. Starbucks, cycling class, the gym. I know tons of girls that are, it sounds terrible, um, that are at the gym, but I'm just friends with them. But that's the thing is that they appreciate that you walked over, you know, and, I, and they're not working out. We're like stretching before class or after class. I'm like, oh my God. And it was a situational approach. I'm not going to go direct. So that's, that's one of those things that, you know, feel it out. You know, if you're at a wedding, you know, you, you should probably go situational or environmental or something like that. But the reason I came out with this video is that uh, you have to go up and you have to just say hi. You have to throw the invitation out and just be like, I got rejected, you know, and it's not me. It could be she's having a bad day or she's not your type or she's already taken. I don't know. It's like it's. This girl, she's just like, I'm not interested. I'm like, cool, okay. She's like, but I appreciate that you came over and you said hi and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, all right, great. So if you have any comments or if you want me to continue, um, you know, as a single guy in New York City that has, and as my friends can attest to you, I've been rejected by many, many, many women. <laughs> um, and then I've asked, obviously, you know, there's what, 5 million women in the city. So after a while, you kind of need to hone down what you're looking for in the easiest way is in person. You have to, you know, just see if it's, if it's both ways, if it's, if it's working or not. So if you have any questions, leave in the comments below. I'm going to keep videos to just one question now, instead of just multiple questions, subscribe to the video, go to iCharles.com. I'm going to have all the posts every single day about things that I'm like, this is important. You should probably do this. And follow me on Instagram. Those are favorite social media networks. Have an awesome day. Talk to you soon.